What's good, warriors? It's your girl, Corinne Graham, also known as the Purpose Warrior. I'm the author of the prophetic devotional. He teaches me to war with my hands, a journey to reclaiming your victory. I am back again for day seven of this 30 for 30 day move to the open display. Glory to God in Jesus name. And so this is day seven. And I believe with everything in me, the father is wrapping up some loose ends. He's bringing some dead cycles to completion as he moves us forward in the new beginning. Glory to God. And the scripture the Father gave me to share today, it's coming from Luke chapter 16, verse 10. And it says, he who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. And he who is unjust in what is least is unjust also in much. In the prophetic title attached to this is how are you managing what's in your hands now? How are you managing what's in your hands now? And so I had to go old school and bust out my index cards. And this is a 46 scripture that the father gave me out of the 71 that you will find here in this prophetic devotional. And so for those of you just tuning in today for the first time, I wrote the scriptures down one by one and I kept them in the exact order that the father placed them on my spirit, March 26, 2019. And so out of the 71 scriptures, there were times where I just needed a quick word from the father. I just needed a quick reminder of who he was to me and who I was to him. So at the top of some of these index cards, I called the ones with red tabs, my power pack scriptures. So, and I have 11 of them. It's 11 of them marked in this chapter. This verse here happens to be the eight power pack scripture out of the 11th. And so God is just so He's so strategic in how he lines things up. So just for it to be day seven and we're wrapping up our day. This is a this video was going up late. This is an after work video, but glory to God. We are winning today. I'm finishing my race today. I'm being faithful over my assignment today. And the father is saying tomorrow when you rise, it is going to be a new beginning in Jesus name. He's wrapping things up and he's beginning a new thing as we move forward to the open to display. But the key is how are you managing what's in your hands right now? Some of us are asking the father for more and we haven't mastered managing the less the what he's already given us. We haven't mastered getting our houses, our spiritual houses in order, putting him first. If you already struggling to sit at his feet, to pray, to open up your word, to feed your spirit now, why would he give you more, right? And so we have to just know that as we move towards this open display, it's so imperative that we are mindful of how we are managing what we have access to today. And don't let the enemy deceive you into thinking that what you have access to today is a small thing because the father starts off in the small things. He takes the small things and he makes them big. He took the 71 scriptures written on index cards that I thought was just for me and he turned it into a book. Glory to God. He took the pain that I had went through. He took the, the situations that I had to endure and he turned them into songs. Glory to God. But he will take what we think is small and he will make it so big as long as we are faithful over the peace that we have access to today in Jesus name. Because when he gave me these scriptures on March 20, 26, 2019. When he gave me the, you can't even see it, but when you get, when he gave me these scriptures again, I thought they were just for me. And I began embedding them in my spirit, taking them with me everywhere I went. But then here it goes a year later. He's like, this is going to be your book. 
And I was like, wow. But it was the peace that I had, the scriptures I had written on index cards that led to the title of the book, that led to the content of the book, that led to the book. Glory to God. And so it's about being faithful over the small things, whatever it is that you have access to, moving in faithfulness with that and watching the Father open it up. Watching him open it up. It's just like in the parable of the, the talents, right? Some have 10, some have five, some, some have five, some have four, some have three, some have one. Some have one. And sometimes we can have, if we're the ones that have the one talent and we're looking at the other person that have five, why well, only get one and this person got five? Well, that's what the father knew you can handle at that time. Because in that parable, the person with the one went and hid it. But see, imagine, imagine when the person with the five went out there and turned it into ten. See, we got to show the father study to show ourselves approved. We got to show up with what he's given us. Moses had a stick. <laughs> Moses had a stick, but he was faithful. He got showed up with that stick. God will show up in the smallest of things to show you that he is faithful to you. But are you going to be faithful to him when he gave you the talent, when he gave you the vision, when he sent you the word, were you faithful over it? Because he was faithful to you when he gave you, gave it to you. But how are you going to manage it? Are you looking at it like it's a small thing and you, you're asking him for more? Listen, he works the best. He does the miraculous out of the small things. But this is your test because the father, he's not just he's not going to let you waste his glory. He's not going to let you waste his glory. What are you doing with what he's given you? Allow the father to stretch it. Allow the father to expand it. Allow the father to increase it based upon your faithfulness over it. Just like a mother bird being faithful over the eggs in her nest. It looks like a small thing, but eventually that thing will birth life in Jesus name. So I just want somebody to be encouraged as we move towards the open display. It's not too late. It's not too late for you. The father is collapsing time frames. He's closing out those fruitless cycles. He's tying up those loose ends. So even up until today, if you haven't been faithful over it, you can start right now today because tomorrow is a new beginning. Tomorrow is a new beginning. That's the grace of God, the beauty of God, the, the long suffering of God, the goodness of God. So I want somebody to be encouraged warriors. We are proud. We're plowing forward. I was going to say pressing forward. We pressing forward, but we plowing forward because we're plowing. We're moving intentionally through every day. And we're, we're, we're getting, we're picking up the pace in Jesus name. So be encouraged. I love you warriors. And I will talk to you soon. I'm fired up. The father wants somebody to ask themselves though, how am I managing What's in my hands today? Am I being faithful over what's in my hands today? Am I prepared to receive what the Father is looking to place inside of my hands tomorrow? In Jesus' name, talk to you soon.